Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work and welcome to another battle vid. And in today's battle vid, we'll be pairing up two devices. Of course, one is the reigning smartphone champion, the Galaxy S4, and the other is LG's new entry into the smartphone market, its flagship, the G2. Now, of course, the G2 has that peculiar power and volume rocker right at the back of the device. So let's see how well it fares against the Galaxy S4 and if, is it a better device to buy. So let's take a closer look at both devices and let's look at the first segment of our battle vid hardware. So look at the Galaxy S4 first. Now the S4 sports a five inch display. It's got a physical button here and it's got uh, touch sensitive buttons on the left and right. You've got a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera. Now this houses a Snapdragon 600 processor or Exynos if it's the international version, but in our battle is a Snapdragon 600 processor. In the rear, you've got a 13 megapixel camera or LED flash. It's got a removable back cover, as we know, and you can change this to wireless charging and uh, you can ex expand that with micro SD up to 64, which I have done. Uh, it's got a very thin profile, super light device, and you can see it's got that uh, plastic back cover with the aluminum siding and um, it's got an IR blaster also just to put. So that's the hardware, just pure hardware physicality of the um, Galaxy S4. And of course the power button and the volume buttons are on the sides of the device. So let's take a look at our G2. So the G2 here has a 5.2 inch display. Uh, 5.2 inches because there are no physical buttons. There's no physical buttons here. If you double tap, show you here, the buttons are actually on-screen on buttons right there. Now, um, this is a 1080p display just like the Galaxy S4, and you also have a 1.9 megapixel front-facing camera. Now, on the sides, there is nothing around. What you do have here is that you do have uh, your power and your volume rockers at the back of the device, right below the camera. And the camera is a 30 megapixel camera with LED flash. It's also got OIS built in for better uh, image uh, capture as well as better um, photo uh, uh, video capture at the same time. Now it's got a very nice unibody build. Uh, you cannot replace the back battery. It comes with, uh, I believe, 16 gigabytes of storage. Uh, in there and uh, you do have your speakers below. So in terms of hardware, uh, hardware design, you can see how both of them compare. I really do like the hardware look of the G2. This looks a little bit more flush, more professional, uh, more business-like. Uh, still part of the cabinet, still made of plastic, so it's not nothing different from that. The, the uh, S4 is lighter than it, than the G2, but I do like the feel of the G2. So with me and the hardware aspects, I will give it to the LG G2. Though it's a fingerprint magnet with the black here, I just like the way it looks and it presents itself. Um, and they do two different photos. In terms of the screen itself, uh, the, you know, they're pretty much the same. I'm not gonna really argue on that, but just the hardware specifics. And it's got a Snapdragon uh, 800 processor, two gigs of RAM. So it's definitely more powerful, more faster. So definitely hardware aspects, the G2 wins that. Both of them have 30 megapixel cameras, but of course there's a difference with the cameras. Uh, one, this, the G2 has OIS and this does not. But let's take a look at some of the camera hardware, uh, uh, software specifics here. So we launched the camera on both devices and you can see they have very similar camera tones look to in terms of the button placement settings and things like that. Now, um, Samsung has all the different modes which you can cycle through as well as LG has modes too. And you can see all the different modes and you can actually view them in less formats. And you can see this pretty much matching modes right there of what you want to use, whether it's normal shots, dual camera, uh, shots, things like that, drama, um, very, very similar in sense. So you do have um, similar modes. The only take a look at some of the camera samples, we'll take a look at the S4 first, and then we'll take a look at the um, G2 to see, and you guys can compare to see which one takes better video quality, and also we'll look at some uh, low light captures. Typical in battle vids, we're gonna test out the cameras, and first up here is the Galaxy S4, and you can see the steps right there, so we're gonna to walk towards the steps, but we'll be facing this scenic view here. Just give you guys a good idea of how well this handles in terms of uh, OIS features, which it doesn't have, but also give you an idea of sound, view, and uh, you know, scope.
So do about 30 seconds and then we'll check out the LG G2. I have the LG G2 here. I'm going to take the same walk down the steps. Again, this has OIS with a 30 megapixel camera. So we'll see how well it handles as we start walking. And um, you can see how well this handles with me walking by, looking at that scenic view. I'm going to look forward again so I don't miss my steps. And then just take a pan of that view itself. And we'll do about 30 frames. I'm sorry, 30 seconds. And let's uh, finish up this uh, battle vid. Okay, so we've taken a look at that, and in terms of low-light photos, I will give it to the G2. G2 does take better photos in low-light. You can see it's quite clear uh, that there's a cup there, and it's more prevalent than what you saw in the S4. Overall, as a package, I think the G2 camera is slightly better. Not by much, but slightly better than what you have on the Galaxy S4. So you have two devices here, both of them are Android. They do game quite well and you can do a lot of gaming on there and I will really go into much of argument here. The G2 has a Snapdragon 800 processor and this has a Snapdragon 600 processor. This is a better processor and also in our Game K video, the G2 had zero, zero, I repeat, zero slowdowns in gaming. Uh, the uh, the S4 did have some, not much, but some slowdown depending on the games. And also the S4 really heats up. Comparably to the G2, it massively heats up our gaming. So on gaming, the G2 definitely wins on that aspect. And then we shall go aspect. And finally, let's go into our final segment here in the battle vid, and we're gonna look at software implementation. So in terms of the OS, um, they basically have a very similar Android feel. You have your home screen, similar look. Um, uh, I, in terms of gesture interfaces and gesture software movement, I have to give it to Samsung. Samsung gesture uh, 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 suite of uh, operations are quite vast and solid. LG has very few. Uh, Samsung has, of course, the swipe wipe, and I haven't actually activated any of my gesture controls, so I can actually show you. But you can tell that you, with our review video, you've seen that Samsung has done a fantastic job with gesture controls, and I think they've really done a good job there. In terms of pure just software additives, I think LG's done more. Uh, first of all, you've got this multiple home screen. I, I love this thing. I mean, I love my wallpapers, and for me, this really hits home and hits the point quite there, and something is pretty good and pretty clear uh, on that aspect. And then you also have just uh, little additives like the Q slide, which we have, which has the three finger gesture. We can slide that back again, and we can bring it out so we can open up a different application and slide it in there. And you can see that, uh, that that's also a nice feature that's added in there. Not saying the Samsung doesn't have that, but in terms of um, operating system and feel, because also this has a better processor, it just feels a little bit more smoother running through. Uh, I'll give OS slightly to the uh, G2 because of course the better processor also helps that there too. So uh, we've seen a lot with both devices in terms of hardware, software, uh, features, camera, and things like that. And uh, battery life is one more thing we'll add into it. The battery life has been fairly good. Some people have complained about the S4. S4 battery life for me pretty much lasts about uh, 16 hours. With the um, G2, I get probably about 18 hours of battery life. I say it's comparable because it's, again, up to user preference and user uh, capabilities. So battery life is similar, and I think that is a complete wash uh, there in terms of battery life. Um, but overall, uh, those are the different aspects of the battle of it. So why don't we round, round this up and find out who is our winner. So there we have it. We've run up our battle vid and we've seen a lot of aspects between the Galaxy S4 and the LG G2. And our winner, uh, by a good margin, uh, sizable, is the G2. I like the G2 uh, and the number of things I can state about it, but before that, the S4. The S4 is a solid device. Does a lot of things well, but you can definitely see that it doesn't necessarily match up in all levels to the G2. The G2 does have a lovely display, and I do like that thin bezel, which we didn't mention much, but you can check out in our review. It's super thin, 
and you can see that quite clearly that it really is an edge to edge display which is very nice now the camera also is solid it's a solid camera it just has a slight edge of course over the um, the S4 because it does take better video without shaking because of OIS and it does take better photos in low light like we showed earlier so that's something to take note uh, a couple of the uh, OS features I do like and I, I really just like the design and feel of the device now the button at the back might be an issue for some but really if you spend time using it you can get used to it and the thing I actually didn't mention in the battle of it is that it's got some awesome audio literally plug in your headphones if you go to a store plug in your headphones listen to the g2 music on the g2 the audio quality at one uh, 192 kbs uh i'm sorry kilobytes uh at um 24 24 bits is solid very good audio so battle vid winner is the g2 so there you have it guys if you have any questions or any comments let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on twitter facebook and youtube it's all border work with two o's so this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoying entertainment